Uncle, I was narrating the story of Jeff Henderson, which I read from this book. Good, Joan. I'm impressed. You have set the stage for narrating the story of St. Paul. St. Paul? Was he also a convict, Uncle? No, not exactly a convict. He was a persecutor of the early Christians rather than a disciple of Jesus. Huh? From prosecutor to a leader of the church? That story would be amazing, Uncle Francis. Yes, indeed. I will tell you the story of conversion of Saul of Tarsus to St. Paul. Enlightened by the power of the Holy Spirit, the disciples of Jesus got the courage to speak to the people about Jesus and the kingdom of God. Hey, Saul. What is the scroll you're holding? Augustus, I have got the permission from the high priest to imprison the followers of Jesus who we find our way to Damascus. But what will we do with them? We will kill them or take them to Jerusalem. They were approaching Damascus and suddenly a light flashed from heaven. Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? Huh? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Lord, what am I to do? Now get up and go to the city. You will be told what you should do. Hey, Saul. Who am I talking to? I... I did not see anybody. I can hear only the voice. Augustus, are you there? I'm not able to see anything. Huh? Saul? Have you turned blind? I fear. I fear that I've lost my eyesight. Please hold my hand and lead the way. Come on, Saul. Let us move forward. For three days he was blind and he did not eat or drink. Ananias was a disciple living in Damascus. The Lord appeared to him in a vision and said, Ananias, go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man named Saul. My Lord, did you say his name is Saul? He is a persecutor of your church in Jerusalem. He has come here with an approval to arrest anyone who believes in you. Do not worry, Ananias. I have chosen him. To proclaim my name to the Gentiles, I will show him how much he should suffer for the sake of my name. Lord, what should I tell Saul? He has lost his eyesight. I have shown him a vision that you will restore his vision. As per your command, my lord. <laughs> 